Welcome back guys. I'm here for you to help you with sales and leadership principles. Today I want to talk about what are some marketing strategies to increase sales, right? Because marketing and sales are actually hand in hand. They go hand in hand to help you grow your sales. You need marketing and you also need sales. The old ways of just going around knocking on doors is just about gone these days. Some people still do it, but if you want to hit more people and get more customers engaged, you got to have a marketing and sales format that's going to increase your sales. So you got to bring them together. So today I want to talk to you about what to focus on as far as marketing. You know, most of the marketing strategies focus on features and benefits. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. We're going to talk about why that doesn't work in marketing strategies. Okay, We're also going to talk about the third question that people ask about you when they meet with you. You do it to somebody else whenever you meet with them. They're doing it to you. It's okay. It's a great question. And then we're going to talk about how to answer that question in this training. So let's get started on why focusing on features and benefits does not work. Okay. Number one reason people don't buy features and benefits. What they buy is how are they going to meet their needs? So what we have to focus on whenever we're marketing is to understand what our customers needs are. So when we start doing the marketing strategy, we really need to start engaging some current customers and understand what we answered. So what did we answer for those people? Go to a survey. Ask them. They'll be glad to tell you why. We can even look at some of our testimonials that we've had from some of our customers. If you don't have testimonials, got to go get those. Got to have testimonials because they actually tell you what value you bring to the table. It's quantifiable. And we need to be able to use that in our marketing strategies. Okay? So, the reason why features and benefits really don't work is, yeah, this blue gadget, you know, this little blue thing, or, you know, this phone, this works for you. It's going to help you. Well, how does that quantifiable? Now, if you start talking about communication with this phone and how you're going to be able to do all the things you want to do from one phone here and you don't need a huge laptop or a big processing computer, now you're meeting a need, right? I want to be able to communicate with a lot of people really quickly. Now you have a phone with apps on it. That is a need that someone has. Not just the phone with apps, but they need to communicate with people fast. That is what we really need to be focused on when we do our marketing strategy, these needs. So we need to ask those questions that are going to pull out the needs that customers have. So ask current customers what they like about our product and service that we offer. Don't sell features and benefits. Answer the needs. Okay, and here's why. So there's three questions that people ask about us as soon as they meet with us. The first one is, do I like you? Do I trust you is the second one. And the third one is, how can you help me? Well, understanding their needs and answering those needs is how you answer that question. Focus on the needs. We definitely need to focus on those things, not just the features and benefits, not the fact that it's yellow. We want to understand why someone would buy it because it's yellow. We need to focus on the why. Just like Simon Sinek did the golden circle of the companies that really are successful, it's the why. So why do people want to buy a product and service from us? We need to be able to answer that. Okay. So the best way to do that is ask questions. What are we going to do? Surveys. Easy to do. Ask the current customers. We've already talked about this. So we want to make sure that we're doing that. Now, if you have questions about how to walk through the sales process with people and answer their five buying decisions, I've got a training set up that will help you do that. That's right. I'm here to help you guys walk through this, make it a short process for you as far as the sales process goes, so that way you're generating revenue quickly. If you want to hop over to it, check out the link below to the online training, or I'll come in and speak to your team if you need. But 
if you're going to have a good marketing strategy, you got to know what their needs are and how to ask the right kind of questions. And there's typically three types of questions that you have to ask. So make sure you're doing that. All right. See you next time.